سلام قسمت دیگه ای از برنامه پرس پراپرتیز از شبکه تلویزیون آریا پرستو شیرازی در خدمتون هستم Hello, another session of Paris Properties from Aria TV This is Paris Shirazi and today we are going to be discussing the, mortgage, the new mortgage regulations Um, از جنیر... اول جنیری امسال قان... بانک کانادا قانون جدیدی تصویب کرده و که متاسفانه شرایط گرفتن مرگج بسیار سختتر میشه برای افراد برای بایرها و تغییراتی که ایجاد کردن این هستش که اون انترست ریتی که روی کانترکت شما میبینین که مثلا حالا اگر هستش سه درصد دولت فدرال ام، که ام، بانک های فدرال رگیلیتد نه پروینشال اینها میان یک پولی که به شما قرض میدن بر اساس دو درصد بیشتر از اون سودی که روی کانترکت هست به شما این مبلغ قرض میدن یعنی اگر سود روی کانترکت انترست ریت شما 3% بوده 2% هم بهش اضافه میکنن و 5% انترست از شما چارج میکنن و به طب اون مبلغی که شما میتونین قرض بگیرین مبلغ کوچکتری میشه و هزینه پس مبلغ یعنی ضعیفتر میشین برای خرید چون مقدار وامی که میخواین بگیرین میزان کمتری هستش همون جوری که من در برنامه گذشته قول داده بودم که مورگیج بروکر داشته باشیم توی برنامه من امروز از آفیس 311 وارتر استریت در گاستاون که احتمالا الان صدای ساعت بخاری رم شما میشنوین که پشت سرمون هست یه مصاحبه داریم با دیوید فورد از یه کمپانی به اسم آی to own که دیوید فورد مورگیج بروکر هستش و ما باشون با مصاحبه میکنیم و سوالهایی که الان افراد به عنوان بایر دارن در جهت گرفتن وام از بانک از دیوید میکنیم و ایشالا که جوابهاش به شما در گرفتن وام کمک بکنه Here we are at 311 Water Street in Gastown from a very beautiful office, which is a warehouse slash loft studio. And uh, we're very close to the steam house. And um, I'm going to be interviewing David Ford, mortgage specialist today. And it's all in all going to be around the new mortgage changes. David is the owner of I Want to Own Company, which is a mortgage company. Um, uh, what they uh, do with their clients is that first and foremost, David likes to spend um, time educating the clients in terms of what mortgage is suitable for them and what are the new changes, and then um, advise the client as to what product uh, they should go for. Um, so here we are, David. Thank you so much for um, giving us your time. We Very really welcome. appreciate it. Yes. Uh, can you please tell us about yourself? Sure, yes. Hi, everybody. Salam. <laughs> good one. Yes, of course. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I've been a mortgage broker for nine years. And over the last nine years, worked a lot with first-time home buyers. Um, I Want to Own came from you know, wanting people to, to help them as they were buying their first place or next place. Um, now over the years, the mortgage industry has changed quite a bit. We have new mortgage rules that have come into effect this year. They came into effect last year this time. So navigating around the new mortgage rules is something that, you know, a mortgage broker or a mortgage specialist definitely want to help with. And that's why we do sit down and meet with people, have an advice-based conversation with them. Lovely. Awesome. Um, David Ford نه سال هستش که با عنوان مورگیج بروکر کار میکنه اسم کمپنیش هست I want to own و علت این که اسم کمپنی رو I want to own انتخاب کردن این هستش که میخوان به افراد به خصوص به فرست تایم بایر رو کمک کنن که افراد بتونن اولین منزلشون رو بگیرن و در پیش هم منزل دومشون رو بگیرن و تخصصی که دارن این هستش که با توجه به قانون های جدید که اومده در مورگیج در مورد مورگیج و همچنین سال پیش هم یک سری مورگیج تغییراتی پیش اومده توش افراد میبینن و به واقع مشاوره میدن بهشون که برای این افراد چه مورگیجی بهتر هست و چه جوری میتونن بهشون کمک بکنن. Thank you so much David. So after the introduction I would like to ask you can you just elaborate on the new mortgage changes what's happening in this crazy world? <laughs> yes, fair enough. Yeah, so um, there is a lot of media around these new mortgage rule changes. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of 
publicists are advising, you know, these mortgage rule changes are going to change everything. Well, um, they're not new rules, in fact. Mm -hmm. um, these rules came into effect last year this time for purchasers buying a home with less than 20% down. Right. These new mortgage rules, new mortgage rules, are now for every mortgage, mm -hmm. whether you have greater than 20% down or you have less than 20% down, everybody has to qualify at uh, a benchmark rate, a higher rate than what they would get in a contract. And what is that rate? So if it's a five-year fixed rate mortgage, for example, mm -hmm. say the interest rate is 3.19, mm -hmm. now uh, a mortgage customer has to qualify at 2% higher than that. Mm -hmm. So 3.19 plus 2%, they have to qualify at 5.19 even though they're paying the lower rate. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're getting a variable rate mortgage or uh, a, a lesser uh, interest rate than a five-year fixed, you still have to qualify at Bank of Canada's posted, which right now is at 5%. So mm -hmm. if you want a variable mortgage, that's 5% in order to get a 2.7% variable, mm -hmm. for example. So for variable, it's 5% and 5.19 would be for fixed? Yeah, in that example, right. exactly. So I a see. fixed would be contract rate plus 2%. Yes. Variable, you're always going to look at Bank of Canada's posted rate. I see. Yes. Okay. Okay. Very important to note, uh, two and a half years ago, the Bank of Canada introduced this rule for variable rate mortgages. Mm -hmm. So this is something that, you know, people who wanted a variable rate mortgage have been doing for two and a half years right. already, right? right. Um, I got a new mortgage in the summer. I got a variable rate. I had to qualify at 5% at that time. Mm -hmm. Many clients over the last number of years have had to meet this same stress test criteria that they're now implementing basically for everyone. To all mortgages yes. now. Right, right. Um, در مورد اخبار جدید و تغییراتی که در قوانین مورگجی ایجاد شده از دیوید پرسیدیم اولا که دیوید معتقده که اخبار و روزنامه و میدیا خیلی دارن تاثیر میذارن و خیلی خبر رو داغتر نشون میدن این در حالی که این تغییرات تو سال پیش هم اتفاق افتاده بود برای مورگجی که زیر 20, پر... 20 درصد دام پیمن بود افراد باید واجد همین شرایط میشدن یعنی اینکه یا انترست ریت 5 درصد می دادن یا اگر که برای variable بود اون 3 درصد و به علاقه 2 درصد می دادن که مثلا الان میشه 5.19% و این خیلی چیز جدیدی نیست فقط اختلافی که امسال با سالهای بعد قبل داره اینه که سالهای قبل یک چند نوع مرگج بود که این حالت بودن امسال تمام مرگج ها هستش که از این قانون باید تبعیت بکنن اوکی okay, so if, if um, what do you see the consequence of these mortgage changes would be on the real estate market? Sure. Yeah, a lot of people are asking me, you know, is mm -hmm. now still a good time to buy mm -hmm. as they have for the last 10 years that I've been <laughs> in the business. So if I look back 10 years ago, I wish I had bought 10 properties, right? Indeed. That's so true. <laughs> Don't we all? Um, so what we see is the, the mortgage market at, say, 1.5 million or below. That market is still going to be quite strong. Essentially, that's what many people can afford. Mm -hmm. So as Bank of Canada now kind of shrinks the market a little bit with how they qualify mortgages, mm -hmm. in Vancouver, anything kind of 1.5 million and less, um, you know, certainly the condo market, townhouse market, these markets uh, where, you know, people can afford them, those are going to be very popular. Mm -hmm. uh, homes with basement suites that have, you know, rental income to help mm -hmm. qualify, those are going to be very popular. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we still see 2018 being robust and strong because we're seeing employment data um, mm -hmm. all across Canada, really good numbers, mm -hmm. you know. Um, uh, new job creation is still happening quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, we have a, you know, a strong economy, so we do see the market continuing to, to grow as the market you know, firms up in condo and townhouses, eventually it'll keep pushing, pushing, edging it a little more. Right, interesting. Uh, that's very interesting because uh, for our previous show, I was interviewing uh, Michael Zhu, who was a realtor, and mm -hmm. he, he said exactly the same thing. So that's, that's very, um, very um, interesting to hear it from two different you know, professionals, a realtor and a mortgage broker. Mm -hmm. um, دیوید معتقد هستش که همیشه شاید نه سال ده سال که افراد ازش میپرسن که آیا زمان خوبی هست که خونه بخریم یا نه و خودش معتقده که کاش ده سال پیش خودش یه چند تا خونه خریده بود بخواد اینکه همیشه دیدیم که قیمت خونه میره بالاتر این قوانین جدید مرگج که ایجاد شده بیشتر روی 
پراپرتی هایی تاثیر میذاره که قیمت هاشون بالا باشه اگر پراپرتی حدود یک میلیون و نیم یک میلیون یک میلیون نیم باشه یعنی افوردبل باشه اینا هنوز خیلی پاپیلر هستن و افراد احتیاج دارن که این خونه ها رو بخرن که میشه مارکت کاندو آپارتمان و مارکت تاون هاوس میشه و این تغییر مرگج روی اینا هیچ تأثیری نخواهد گذاشت چیز دیگه ای که تأثیر نخواهد داشت روش خونه هستن که بیسمنت سویت دارن یعنی مرگج هلپر دارن اونا هم خونه هستن که خیلی راحت معامله خواهد شد به خاطر اینکه درآمد میدن بخری... به کسی که خونه رو میخره و چیز دیگه ای که ما در اقتصاد میبینیم که روی ریال استیت تاثیر میذاره ایمپلویمنت ریت هستش توی کانادا کار ایمپلویمنت ریت خیلی ایمپلویمنت ریت عالی هستش و بیکاری کم هستش و همچنین خیلی جاب های جدید کرییت شده و این خیلی به اقتصاد کشور کمک میکنه اکانومی کانادا توی شرایط خوبی هست پس دلیلی نداره که 2018 از لحاظ ریال استیت سال ضعیفی باشه All right, so what advice do you have for clients who are new to Canada or are younger or are first, just let's say first time buyers, sure. what's your advice to them? Yeah. Um, income is now really important mm -hmm. with the qualifying interest rate rule that was introduced January 2017, now January 2018. Mm -hmm. What banks are really looking for is income, uh, taxable income. Right? So uh, they want to see people working, they want to see people with established credit. Mm -hmm. So you know, new to Canada, uh, look to establish credit right away. Mm -hmm. uh, most lenders want to see a, a two-year history, at least a one-year history of new mm -hmm. credit and, and income, really. Mm -hmm. like, uh, mm -hmm. That's what lenders are, are basically trying to, to get after. Mm -hmm. um, even people that are self-employed, um, myself for example mm -hmm. yourself for example <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah? Yes. you know uh, they want to see us with taxable income that's right is, is what the federal regulations are are really telling us mm -hmm. yeah. okay so meaning when you're new to Canada try to secure employment as soon as you can uh, pay your taxes also try to build up a good credit yes and that would be through getting a credit card paying it on time correct is there anything else they can do sure I, I you know um, uh, even things like utilities, right? Mm -hmm. Getting a cell phone in your name, a cell phone reports on the credit bureau. So yes. that can be used as secondary credit. So Very uh, interesting. doesn't necessarily need to be uh, 10 credit cards, don't, don't right. do that. <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, one or two credit cards, mm -hmm. cell phone in, in their name, that mm -hmm. will be helpful. Mm -hmm. There is still the uh, BC Home Partnership, the down payment matching uh, for uh, BC residents. So if, if they've been here for five years or more, they would be eligible for, for that uh, program. So if, you know, first time home buyers not just yet in the market, but been here for a while, that's available, where they can help with the down payment too. Okay, so I'm gonna come back to that, because, okay. yes. Okay. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, به کانادا تشریف آوردین و فرست تایم بایر هستین مورگیج جدید خیلی شرایطی که توش بر رایت بشه این هستش که افراد انکام داشته باشن درآمد داشته باشن اگر تازه وارد کانادا شدین و قصد خرید منزل دارین خیلی مهمه که زودتر کار بگیرین و پیچکی داشته باشین درآمدی داشته باشین که تکسیبل باشه یعنی به گاورمنت تکس بدین و موقعی مرگج گرفتن به درآمدتون خیلی توجه میشه کار دیگه ای که میتونین بکنین کردیتتون رو سر کنین که هرچی بهتر خوبترش بکنین چه جوری میتونین کردیتتون رو خوب بکنین این هستش که اول از همه یک یا دو کردیت کارت بگیرین و یوتیلیتی بیلز مثل قبض های برق و آب و همچنین سلفونتون اینا رو وقتی که شما مرتب سر زمان پرداخت بکنین کردیتتون هی ساخته میشه و هی بهتر و بهتر میشه پس گرفتن کار تکسیبل اینکام درآمد داشتن و بهبود کردن دادن کردیت و اعتبار حرکت هایی هست که میتونین انجام بدین در جهت گرفتن مورگج اوکی ناو دیوید سو یو یو منشند اباوت بی سی هوم پارتنرشپ یس اول رایت اند وات از دات دا لیبرال گورنمنت اینتروڈوسد ا هوم پارتنرشپ plan where they would match a home buyer's uh, down payment to a maximum of 5%, mm -hmm. um, only for properties $750,000 or less, mm -hmm. first time home buyers only, mm -hmm. and uh, resident or permanent resident of Canada, mm -hmm. uh, been here for five years or more. So. 
Five years or more. Five years okay. Or more. Yes. So they so so if say so they they match it by five percent, meaning they contribute five percent of that down payment. Correct. And it's a grant, and would they want it back? Or? They would. Yes. Uh -huh. So so let's say for example, you want to uh, you're a first time home buyer. You want to buy a place for five hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. You have twenty five thousand. The government will also match twenty five thousand. So the down payment will end up being fifty thousand mm. total. You have a five-year interest-free grace period. That's beautiful. Yeah. So at the end of the five years, if you haven't paid any of it back, yes, then uh, you start paying it at a contract rate based on RBC, Royal Bank of yes. Canada. Yes. Uh, but if you pay it all within the five years, yeah. interest-free, then nothing. It's taken off title. That's very interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, یه پروگرامی هست به اسم بی سی هوم پارتنرشپ که یه پلانی که دولت لیبرال این برنامه رو گذاشته و این هستش که برای ملکایی که زیر 750 هزار تا هست برای افرادی که بیشتر از در 5 سال در کانادا بودن چه پی آر باشن چه سیتیزن تا 5 درصدش رو دولت میاد کمک میکنه به دام پیمنت یعنی اگر شما یه آپارتمان 500 هزار تایی دارین میخرین و 25 هزار تا دارین دام پیمنت میذارین دولت هم میاد 25 هزار تا به شما قرض میده و خوبی این این هستش که برای for the first five years they don't charge interest yeah, برای پنج سال اول هیچ سودی نمیگیرن و شما پنج سال بیست و پنج هزار تا رو از دولت قرض گرفتین کمک میکنه که ملکتون رو بخرین و بعد از پنج سال شما میتونین یا کل این بیمز پنج هزار تا رو بدین یا اگر خواستین ریزه ریزه بدین با سود contract با interest rate contract نرخ بانک RBC این مبلغ رو باز پرداخت میکنیم All right, uh, we're coming to the end of the program, but I was just wondering before we uh, say bye, um, is there anything you would like to add, something that I missed and I didn't ask you a question about on mortgage? That covered a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I know certainly, you know, uh, it's, it's become uh, not difficult uh, to navigate through it, but it's in, it's a bit more involved now. Getting a mortgage exactly. is a bit more involved. Um, we have banks, we have credit unions that have different criteria. Uh, credit unions are provincially regulated, mm -hmm. so they're re regulated by uh, the Financial Commission of, of BC. Uh, they don't necessarily meet the same criteria that Bank of Canada has now placed right. federally. Um, so there's options with credit unions, there's options with banks, non-bank lenders. Um, so really using a, you know, a mortgage broker is helpful uh, and vice-based brokerage. I see, and when the clients come to you, you have all these options open for them and you recommend which one would work better Absolutely. For that particular yeah. scenario. For sure. First time home buyer, construction mortgage, um, if they're, you know, developer or uh, mm -hmm. new to Canada, all these different programs That's right. uh, are different at each institution. So. Okay. Okay. And don't go any, anywhere because I'm going to ask you about your office, your contact okay. information, but I would <laughs> like to translate this. Perfect. Um, uh, همونجور که همه حس میکنن که الان مورگیج گرفتن یه مقدار سختتر شده به واقع یه مقدار پیچیده تر شده و افراد متخصصی مثل دیوید هستن که میدونن چطوری مانور بدن و کدوم پروداکت رو برای شما انتخاب کنن موقع که شما میخواین مورگیج بگیرید مورگیج فقط از جانب بنک آف کانادا که فدرال هست نیستش میشه با کریدیت یونین گرفت که پروینشاله بعضی اوقات میشه از منابع دیگه این پولو گرفت و انواع مورگیج فرق میکنه یکی فرست تایم بایر داره مورگیج میگیره یکی دیولپر سازنده است داره میگیره برای کانستراکشن داره میگیره و وقتی شما پیش افراد متخصصی مثل دیوید میاین با توجه به شرایط شخ... فردی اون شخص این افراد میتونن برای شما مورگیج ایدئال رو ریکامند بکنن اوکی دیوید ناو تل اس اباوت هاو هاو کن اور کلاینتس کانٹیکٹ یو ویر از یور آفیس کانٹیکٹ نمبر ویب سایت یا سو ان گاستاون ویر ات 311 واٹر استریٹ واٹر ان کانبی فون نمبر دی کین کال می ڈائریکٹ اونیسٹلی دیٹس دی بیسٹ 604 3299971 yes okay yeah. so I usually have an initial conversation uh, and then it's uh, myself working with my staff okay uh, mortgage brokers as well uh, and and as a team you know we help uh, m multiple people first time home buyers developers that type of thing um, info at I want to own.ca 
great if you have just generic questions or yes. want to book a meeting. That way, and any one of our staff can pick it up and get back to you right away. Great, great, awesome. Okay, uh, that was very lovely. Thank you very much for your time. Welcome. Uh, thank you. Okay, Khodafez. <laughs> awesome, Khodafez. <laughs>